Good morning, family. We have an incredible family member in studio from backstage to the world Jeez. stage. Losha, come on. So, Losha, yes. you say you actually have no ambitions of, you know, being a Hollywood actress and because you do not see yourself spending time I mean, away from your family. It's, it's not that I don't, but it's not at the top of my list, sure. you know. Um, and why is that? Um, because I feel perhaps... You know, for most of my peers, I think Hollywood would be like the yes. ultimate. My ultimate is being a present, consistent mom. Aww. For me, the top of my list, my top gig is being a mom. It's I love it so entirely that's so that I feel like oh bless. It's just my truth, you know. And yeah. I think that's the thing. You got to be honest with who you are. Um, I love my work. I love that my work has served me so greatly in my life. But there's nothing that tops being a mom to me. It's it's the job or the the gift that I've been bestowed that I just it fulfills me every day. So I really want to do that really well. Wow. The same as an accountant who maybe want to balance books really well. Mm -hmm. My first on my list that I value are are my kids and and being a great mom. Um, and you've got two children. Yes. So Jenna and Kumo, those are my babies, um, and they're teenagers now. So. It's um, it's different years, you know. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, last year I said no to so much work because I didn't want to travel. Sure. The year before I had to travel quite a bit for work, um, and you know it was tough, and I just I made a decision that I I wouldn't do that, sure. and I would especially for these teen years, you know, you got to be on of it. Of course, you yeah, got to be on them. They My can mom slip through your fingers used to say, um, "Small kids, small problems; big kids, big problems." And I used to be like, "Ah, oh, mommy, stop being dramatic." Yeah. Woo -hoo. Right. Yeah, you got to stay on them because what they're exposed to socially and in their ecosystems and in the environment is is you really just got to be you got to have your your finger on that button all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. So tell me, um, as as a as a mom and a wife, you know, what is the what what's your your career biggest career goal right now? I think for me, moving from um being in front of camera definitely to being behind okay. camera, um, creating. Um, and that definitely is something it's a, it's a, it feels like a natural shift mm -hmm. for me. It also feels like there are stories about colored people and about colored mm -hmm. stories that have been untold. I think we so st stereotypically represented, yeah. um, and I feel like I am that person. I'm the person to step into that space and sure. tell our love stories too, you know, and tell our heartbreaking stories, tell our happy stories. Yes. and. I feel quite strongly about that. And being a, a, a colored performer, I know the struggles in this industry with being a colored performer. I know the representation that we get is so limited mm -hmm. that, you know, either I sit on the sideline and moan about that or I do something about it. I like that. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Tell me about uh, just... Let's talk lockdown. Yes. So, I mean, lockdown. Oh, you just want to go straight into it. I you're like, nah, you're asking too many and, questions. I know radio has limited time. So, so let's talk, let's know, talk, let's talk so about let's, lockdown. So, lockdown, so lockdown, lockdown is... You, let's you, start with the history. Yes. So, let's start from season one, right? Um, a show that, one, first of all, of uh, stories that have never been told by women before. Mm -hmm. I think the kind of stories that we tell on lockdown was almost was a shock factor for a woman it to was. step into some of the the roles you know um i think black brain um did an incredible thing pushing that boundary um lockdown had been rejected for many years actually wow. um no broadcaster wanted to accept it and then zanzi magic jumped on it um and we'll always be thankful to them for for giving us that opportunity fast forward it is the only drama in South Africa that has been given so many seasons. Wow. We're on fifth season now, and now we've moved to Showmax. Um, and so moving an audience from Nzanzi Magic to Showmax has obviously been a big jump for us. Um, and educating our audience about, well, finding a Wi-Fi hotspot and then downloading it and being able to watch it offline. I also think it's given us the opportunity to introduce our audience to a global brand, which is Showmax. Um, so we... we Zanzi Magic, thank you so much for your support. Come join us on Showmax because yes. you can watch season one to four. And from and Thursday, it'll be four or five episodes of the new season, season five. And tell, tell me about your character, Tyson. 
Tyson, what about Tyson? Tyson is a, <laughs> she's crazy. Yeah. I mean, Tyson is like a character I've never played before. I think before Tyson, I was always typecast as a pretty girl, the one with the body, you know, mm -hmm. Charmaine never left me. Yeah. It's like yeah, I was always, I, I was meant to hit to 60 and still have that body. Yeah. And I'm like, how is that possible, you know? So Charmaine really kind of just drilled in that whole image of the pretty colored girl with the body. Mm -hmm. And I was actually turned down for many roles because people said I looked too pretty mm -hmm. or I didn't look rough enough for the role. And then Tyson came along, which was the roughest role I think that I've ever even gone to a casting for. And it just goes to show, you know, when we look at someone like Charlize Theron, yeah. we're okay. Mm -hmm. We kind of just look at the aesthetic of what the person yeah. already is instead of going this person has the ability to transform the character that is written here and so Mandla N gave me that opportunity to transform into Tyson and I became ugly and I became harsh and I became crude and I became everything that people you know are drawn yeah. to Tyson form do you have to dig deep to play Tyson I mean I, I think all of us have to dig deep on 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 lockdown because telling stories that are um, have been researched one and stories where we push boundaries all the time you have to dig deep you can't pretend to play those roles mm -hmm. not one performer on lockdown pretends to play a role sure. we all in or it's nothing you know and it is that kind of show and the nature of the show is exactly that it's either all in or nothing and the audiences I mean, they absolutely resonate with that. And the realness of how much we put in is, I think, what keeps audiences glued to the screens. Yeah. Well, Loshi Cooper, we look forward to seeing you on You said Impact. Cooper now. You see, you had such ah, a nice thing going. Yes. Such a nice you thing going. It. Let's go back. <laughs> Loshi Cooper. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. We can't wait to see you on season five of Lockdown. Have an incredible thank time. You. And thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. It's Fletcher and the family. It's nine o'clock time for our news. David is up next with Kings and Queens. Bye-bye.